Hey, welcome back, and thanks for coming. Today's topic, oh, that's what it right side up, is called souping, and it is the tool you're going to need to be able to get into those bigger planning goals in how do you create your compelling vision. Now, what we find is that a lot of people delay their compelling vision because they're really anxious to kind of get started on your tasks. And compelling vision, we see people really come back to later on in the series. So if you're in our 12-week group or if you're in our prosperity group, it is something that often both of you will delay because you need it to do a little bit more of this. Souping is what I really talk about is letting things sit, but it doesn't mean keeping your pot empty. So you want to kind of chop up some things, throw it into that soup pot and see if that's really what your vision is. So when you're thinking about big vision, I want you to use this souping technique as a way for you to have huh, kind of a scheduled way to help with your process. So it's also really taking time to review your dreams and to review them and question them. Do I really wanna pour this into my soup, right? Is this really what's there? But it's also a chance to find out some questions, to think about what you're blocking. So sometimes the reason that people aren't making a big vision is because they only have this or that mentality, that it's either this or it's that. They don't actually know what this combo of all these things running is. And in our big vision, it usually isn't this or that. It is some form of melded life that you've put together and it's all working together. So when you are thinking about the dreams and the things that you want to do, you want to be able to create whatever vision you have available at that moment and then build on it after that. So you're gonna keep putting in these little blocks that are about this big and you're gonna go, okay, do I think this will work? Let me put that on top of this. And that's kind of how you get that big vision is you just kind of look at the blocks and you start putting them together. So I'll give you an example. If your big vision is to spend this enormous amount of time with your family, well, you're gonna to have to figure out what those blocks look like and then start stirring them in there. Because guess what? I might wanna spend time with my family, they might not wanna spend time with me or they might not have time to spend time with me. So when you're thinking about your big compelling vision, you have to think about only the things that you can control, the things that you can control. Um, I can't control everyone else's schedule. So um, we come up with other ways to get people together at the same time. When you're thinking about your big vision, you want to think about it in blocks that you can kind of see. That's why I like putting things on three by five cards or placing them on sticky notes because I just kind of want to add a piece together do I want that? Do I want that future? So for me, um, did I want, I wanted to have, um, to be able to travel, but I didn't necessarily want to travel in a hotel or I didn't necessarily want to travel and just stay with my friends. So I have travel as my compelling vision, but that's not compelling enough. That's really just something I want to do. And when I changed my travel, I had to kind of come up with little pieces to it. I had to have travel that was meaningful to me. I had to have travel that I could afford and that I could consistently do. So I put it into my business plan. So when we look at a compelling vision, it is, are you willing to do that? You know, sometimes I'm not willing to leave my beautiful house to go work across the country for just one, you know, a few thousand dollars. So I need to be paid well enough so that I can travel and enjoy it, right? So when you think about that compelling vision, you want to think about all of the things that won't work in it so that you can say, these are the things I don't want. And then you have to think about all the things that you do that you do want. So it's nice to dream about a farm. But the fact is, is that you have to feed chickens every day, twice a day. It's not as compelling. So think about your vision and think about the fact that you're going to be writing it in increments. So just start putting the things together, even though you don't have a whole one yet, you have to just start kind of slicing up those pieces and then deciding, are you ready to put that into the soup? 
And that soup is your life, right? The soup of your life. This is the sacred bowl num, 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 that you want to eat out of every day. So be generous with what you think that you want in that soup and be very clear that not everything should go into the soup. So souping is my model and it is just letting things simmer together until you can kind of create the vision that you want. So I'll see you in class. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. And uh, thanks for doing the work. Bye. I'll see you in class.